Well, most of us have made the drive up to 71 to Columbus and the trip back. But how about running that distance? An Ohio State grad student did just that in a single day, no less. Our local source, Christian Hauser, shows us why he did it and who will benefit from his accomplishment. Few, if any of these people, know what's coming behind them on the Little Miami Scenic Trail through Loveland. Kristen Rieskamp does. She's waiting to cheer on her husband, Josh. It's for a good cause, but at the same time, you're like, oh, can he really do it? Is he going to make it? Is he going to get hurt? All that kind of stuff. Josh Rieskamp is running from Columbus to Cincinnati. In one day, he's doing it for a good cause. I'm running to benefit uh, the children's hospitals in Columbus and Cincinnati. It's nationwide children's, Cincy Children's. They got up at 4 this morning to start the 100-mile trek. We caught up with them as he got a quick snack and some water. It hasn't been easy. Really hard. I, I hit a rough spot um, 60 miles in, and I thought I was going to have to stop. But I have people sending me cheers on the phone. We just heard one of them. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's getting me through. Kristen says they'd only raised about $470 on Monday. So I donated a lot to make him feel better, and I wasn't going to tell him about it, but it's just really exploded since then. So we can't thank people enough for their generosity and spreading the word and contributing what they can. It's been awesome. When we checked in with him, more than $5,500 had been donated to the hospitals. I think they're great causes. I'm a neuroscience PhD student, so I've kind of learned about the research that they're doing. Um, and I think it's great. They're really doing good work to improve the lives of children. A few hours later, and Josh finished his journey at Clear Creek Park in Anderson Township. I am so unbelievably proud. At one point when we didn't think he was going to finish around Morrow, and then he got this second wind, and I was driving to the next point, and I started crying in the car because I was just so happy that he's going to do this when it, it looked bad for a little bit. You don't have to run 100 miles, but the couple do hope that they can inspire folks to give back. In Loveland, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Josh actually finished today's trip in 15 hours and 45 minutes. They didn't even set up a GoFundMe page. They just created a website that takes you directly to the hospital websites if you'd like to donate. And they did, as Christian said, raise even a little bit more, raising $5,755.